Hey, Dr. Dyer here. I just want to do a quick video on the measurements that we do for orthodontic treatment. This is a preoperative treatment, and we're going to show you how to do some measurements here. Okay, so the, uh, I'm going to go over uh, deviation or mandibular jaw deviation. So you go above the patient and then have them open, and you kind of keep an eye on the jaw and see which way it goes from center. Okay, close again, open real big. Okay, close again. This is pretty straight, open real big again. I don't really see it deviating one direction or the other. A lot of people will have uh, limited opening on one side and it'll cause their jaw to deviate to the left or, or right. Maybe slightly to the left but hers is pretty, pretty straight. And then the next thing, CR, CO uh, discrepancy. So when, we, when you do this, what we do is have your patient reach for their tonsils with your tongue. So take your tongue, reach for your tonsils, come down till you feel something touch and then stop. So. Close your teeth together until you feel something touch and then stop, okay? So what we're doing is looking for the difference between where her teeth first touch uh, when her jaws are completely back in, in the upright. Uh, her condyles are seated on the most posterior place. Now squeeze your teeth together, okay? Let's do it one more time. Reach for your tonsils. Let your jaw go all the way back. Come together until it touches and then squeeze. So she has very little CRCO deviation. So very little change when she's squeezed together. There's very little movement other than straight up and down. If you see the jaw slide one way or the other, that's deviation from CR to CO. So CR stands for centric relation. CR stands for centric occlusion. So centric relation is where the jaws try to go or where they're supposed to go regardless of the teeth. Centric occlusion and the name it kind of gives that away. Occlusion is where the teeth occlude or lock together uh, so you're trying to see the difference between where the teeth lock together and where the jaws want the teeth to go to. So the first one is maximum opening. So what we do is we use this measurement here where you see the Y and the numbers increasing on each side. So this, if you can't read this, it says TMJ. You can buy these online, but it's a triangle that has three different measuring sides to it. So the first one we do is maximum opening. So we have them open as wide as they can. And we try to line up the marks the same top and bottom. So you kind of twist it like this. So the, it looks like we're out, it stops about right here. So that would be 47 millimeters. Okay, so the next measurement is right jaw movement. So you can see there's a zero here in the middle and then it, it the numbers go from the middle outward. So what we're doing is we're measuring how far from the start point the jaw goes toward the whichever direction we're going. So this would be left and right. So what we do is Go ahead and close together for me. Is put this at a point that would be our zero. So I'm gonna use the center or the zero mark as right here between the two centrals on the lower. So I'm gonna put that there. Open just a little bit and move your jaw as far to the right as, as you can go. And then close down. Push it as far as you can there. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the center mark again where we started. You notice I'm uh, 
she's going to the right so we put this on our our reference point and then we're measuring over to how far it went so we're right at about 11 millimeters right in here okay now close back together again all right now go to the left as far as it'll go so she's at she can go about 11 millimeters to the left as well so that's our left to right measurement so lateral left is 11 and lateral right is 11 so she's pretty symmetrical the next one is protrusive so on that one we want to pick a spot since we're going a start forward then we need to have a number that starts on the corner so obviously we we pick a spot on the corner so close down just a little bit so i'm going to put this on the on the t the lower t and go ahead and push your lower jaw forward as far as it'll go keep pushing keep pushing as far as it'll go okay so it goes to about 10 millimeters or 12 it was about 12 wasn't it about 12 millimeters that's protrusive so that in a nutshell is how to do the uh, measurements of maximum opening left and right lateral movement and uh, protrusive movement okay the, the last thing that we're going to go over is the uh, incisal edge in relation to the lip so the first thing is the uh, and the incisor edge to lip resting position. So all you have to do is have your patient open and relax your lip, just let it relax. And with her or her incisor edge, incisal edge just barely shows, so maybe two millimeters. Again, we're using the measuring side for that. And then, uh, and then we do the smile, so go ahead and you can close your mouth and just do a natural smile. I'll help you with this side. <laughs> so you want to see how much of our incisor. We normally measure the central incisor. So it looks like it lifts up. The lip lifts up to about four, maybe five. Let's say five millimeters. So we're trying to see how far the lip rises when they smile. This gives us a reference point to go to. So resting is about two millimeters and the smile is five millimeters.